this is Kotruta Gallery and um, the address is 446 South Main Street, downtown LA, California 90013. And inside the gallery we have a, a theme, a, a story beginning here in this painting with, this is an oil painting, with a, with a cage over the painting and this painting was dedicated mostly to my cousin in Romania who I had memories of him when he was young and I was young and we went to a swimming pool and, and both looking and being happy and, and then I came home after vacation and he went to prison because he was gay and he came back and go back many times went back and so his life was really shattered because he couldn't leave who, who he was so let me just say uh, you mean homosexuality is against the law there it was in communism <laughs> oh okay yeah in, right, commu in communism yes um, and uh, what I wrote about him, I said, imprisoned innocence, the innocence of being, being who you are. And next one would be the brainwash. This is a faucet pouring Ceausescu's speech over our, our brain. This is the, his last speech from December 1989 before he was killed he was telling people that those students in Timisoara that revolted were the enemies of the country and that were selling the country for a dollar to the foreigners and, and all kinds of vague and, and nonsense speech that he was really brainwashing us with this and that one was the uh, communist insignia, the, the seagull and the uh, hammer that was kind of going in through the, the, the throat of us. This one is the painting with the eyes. I call it lie to me with double spelling. I and lie because they were lies. Everything was a lie. This is, this, this are eyes that are also made with a lot of Romanian folkloric costumes and, and, and flowers and everything. I wanted to keep the, the Romanian theme here. And uh, the eyes were following us everywhere. We had people that reported on us. We had friends. We didn't know that they were not really friends. And Everywhere you looked, you knew that somebody might turn in. And that was in churches, in schools, in offices, everywhere. So everywhere, little eyes, big eyes, this were on us in those times. Turn you in for what? For things that you say, that you wouldn't be allowed, like to say jokes about the president or say bad things about the regime that you didn't have food or you had to stay in line and you were angry because you, you come home and you have nothing to put on the table for the kids and you go to work and they give you so little money and with that little money you have to, to keep a family. Uh, the water was cut off so to take a bath you had to take it at the, uh, the time from 7 to 9 in the morning or 7 to 9 at night. Hot water. Everybody had to take a bath, you had to wash, you have to cook whatever, you have to keep the water in the tub for everything else because then you're not going to have water. It was cold in the apartments. The heating was also certain hours only. So if it's in Romania usually it was really cold in Brasov, in the city I lived in the winter. It was really cold, minus 20 degrees Celsius. And, uh, well, it's no heat. You have a baby, 
you, you have to hold it all the time on your, your chest. Let's go to the baby poem. Yeah. We'll skip a few. I've, yeah. I've enjoyed that. This is a, like a, a, a portrait of a woman. The woman defined. The woman that I was a young woman that I went to the maternity ward to give birth to my second child. And the nurses, I, I had to bribe some nurses to take care of me because if you don't bribe, nobody takes care of you. You are just another number there. So I bribed, I went there, I had no uh, husband because husbands were not allowed into maternity. You come by yourself with a little luggage with you and giving birth in those labor pain and, and you want to scream, you want to hold somebody, you want to have somebody to kiss, to hug you, to be there with you. And I didn't have that and the nurses were so mean and they were screaming at all the women not to uh, scream of pain because you, you were in pain, you had to do something. And I was so afraid to scream that I started to bite my arm until blood came out and, and I said I'm going to be good, I'm not going to scream so the nurses would be nice to me. And then the pain was so big then I had to pull my hair. I had to pull my hair to make a different kind of pain in order for me to resist. And then I gave birth in a, in a room with three other people that were there. I mean you had no privacy at, at all. And let's read this section here now. So without any privacy, ecstasy of crying sounds joyously came over me. He's out fighting with his nurse, reaching for his first breath. He's here. I felt empty, lonely. He was quickly taken away, putting in a nursery. I didn't even have time to hold him. This is the way they were doing. The next day I had to go and look for him. Where is he? What is he looking like? I miss that and I miss the baby to be on me to, to bond with his mother and then when I was hungry my husband and my other child that was three years old daughter had to come behind the hospital and, and with the food I throw a, a rope we had ropes to throw and he was tying the food and I had to pull the rope to the third floor so I can be fed well because I just had a baby and the hospital would give you just terrible food and that was and he was asking how is the baby and my my other daughter how is my little brother and I couldn't even say how he is because I didn't see him yet and after five days in the hospital husband was allowed to come and he was giving the baby, his baby, on a, through a window, like here in, at the bank when they give you money, through a window. And he took the baby and he said, oh, he looks so beautiful. And that was the first time when, when he looked at, after five days, on his own child. And this also, is this over? Is there a new regime? Is there now, a new way of now, regime? yes, it is, is a new way. Now it's a democracy. No, I don't want people thinking yeah. it's happening no. right now. Still. No, no, no. Okay. After Ceausescu died and he was killed by the people after the revolution in 1989, uh, things changed. People, people wanted to be free, to have democracy, to, to have people uh, like in the other countries uh, that we are looking up to, like uh, Western countries, America, Germany, uh, Canada, other countries. So now everything, all the hospitals are different and uh, maternity wards and streets and schools and everything. They don't wear uniforms the way we are supposed to wear. Everybody had a uniform. and, and uh, we had to wear something on our heads, some white band that, were, that was the uniform. We had numbers at our uniform with our name and the school name and a number. And when we walk on the street and somebody uh, said that, oh, we did something wrong or we, I don't know, some whatever a kid would do, they would take your number and go to the school and report you. What's your number? I don't know what her 
soundboard was. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> no, no, amazing. This is amazing. You say he was killed by the people? Yeah. What and does this say here? Listen. Listele de securitate, which means the lists of the security. Um, uh, how do we say? Like KGB uh, people that under. Uh, they investigation. were uh, investigation and, and a black list and black uh, future for you if you probably did something wrong. And here it's, it's, it's Romania, that is Romania shape, the country. And this one where it says it's for 65? Uh, um, this is um, the gold epoch from 1965. This is, he called it, from 1965 when he came to power until 1989 when he was killed. And all How was he killed? He was killed by a, a squad, him and his wife. He was judged very fast by a judge, so he was given a, a trial and he denied everything. He denied that he had money or he did anything wrong. He denied that he killed people. He, he denied that he, he, he stole from people and didn't give us anything. And then he was uh, tried and found guilty and a squad uh, shot shot him and his wife and these are people in the street that we are supposed to um, hold pancards and, and slogans and his portrait and his wife portrait and what I did to this I didn't put any face on these people because they didn't mean anything what I did I put my fingerprint on each one because that's the only thing we had we had a fingerprint we had no a identity. Okay, and the name of this piece one more time? This, the name of this one is Shattered Romania, Shattered Country, because he, like this would be a crystal, beautiful crystal, he was shooting at it and making it in pieces, like breaking everything in pieces. That was so beautiful, this one by itself. Mm -hmm.